Hello YouTube. It's Medley again for a little bit of a different video today. There was a request for an eye swapping video. I like to call it eye popping because they literally pop out. So I'm going to show you how I do that today and tell you a story about the first doll I ever eye swapped. To get started, um, these are the supplies that I use along with boiling water. I have a bowl for the head. I have some 2.0 millimeter string here for replacing the zip ties. I would much prefer to have neck strings so if I ever want to eye swap again it will be a little less difficult. Towels, scissors, um, something to push the eyes with. Some people use their thumbs. I like to use a wooden spoon. Of course you need the eyes of your choice and tools to um, manipulate the eyes once they are in there and things to help get the next string back in place and let's get started to start out you will need a doll that you're eye swapping obviously and a pair of scissors you'll notice I'm not wearing my watch or any rings um, it's nice to take them off so that you don't accidentally damage your doll in any way um, that's just what I like to do so um, in this case, this is Nakia, and she's getting new eyes today. So I find it easy, easier to just kind of twist the whole head, sorry, to get access to the neck string without um, having the hair in the way. So on these newer dolls, they have a zip tie that's inside of here. We need to get that zip tie off in order to remove the head in order to do the eye swapping. I don't know if you can see, but there are two stitches here keeping the hole closed. So you just need to take your scissors. These are kind of big. These were the ones that I found. Um, smaller scissors would probably be better. Just kind of um, cut those. Be careful not to cut your doll. Now I use a tool that is for latch hooking to kind of get the threads out. I just find that it's easy to use. It was something I had laying around and so now it is part of my doll tools. So, and you could just throw those little pieces of thread away. I'm going to go ahead and cut the rest of this off right here just for visual reasons. I'm going to do this right-handed. So I'm gonna flip her around here so I can get access to this zip tie that's in here. I like to get the latch hook right under there so I have access to this zip tie here and pull it away from her body so I don't hurt her. And then I just kind of cut and snap it loose. Okay, this one doesn't want to come out easy. So I'm just going to take the head off first and then I can remove this part when it's not attached to the head. It makes it a little bit easier. It's that part where the zip tie actually goes in, that is the difficult part. There we go, success, plus a little fluff. Sorry, Nakia. Then we're gonna put the body aside because we don't need that right now. We just need her head. So I'm gonna remove her little butterfly clip here and get the bowl. So in the bowl, I put I put a few towels because um, I don't want her head flopping around in there. All right, I'm gonna take her head and I put it inside and I try to get all the hair contained inside of the towels so that only this whole remains. I think I forgot to say that you need a funnel. You definitely want a funnel. You do not want to get her eyes wet. There's metal in the eyes and they can rust and cause all sorts of issues. So you, you only want water to go in this hole right here. So funnel for the win. Now while the water is boiling, you'll want to make sure you have everything in order. I like to do the eye swap on a towel just in case. Um, you know, to catch the eyeballs and everything when they start popping out. So in this case, I have some um, beautifully custom Infinity doll eyes. So these are the eyes she's going to get. 
So I have those on the side. All right, my water is done boiling. And pour. I'm gonna make sure it doesn't pour out and get all over her. All right. And now we wait for a minute and a half. Some people like to cover the hole so that it keeps the heat in. I haven't found that. It makes a whole lot of a difference for me, but I like to do it anyway. And you might as well give yourself the best shot. Now, a minute and a half is the minimum you'll want to do most likely. Sometimes I do two minutes, but a minute and a half is usually pretty good for some of the basic face molds like the classic face mold or the Josefina face mold, but some of the others you need a good two minutes, but you don't want to go too much longer than two minutes because the eyes, when you go to pop them out, can actually like cave in and break. So that's really not a great thing. You'll want to test the head before you dump out the water and to see if it's squishy. Her face is pretty squishy. You'll want to dump this water out. Um, usually I do this in the kitchen sink, but I'll just do it right here for now. And here's where the fun part begins. You're kind of really limited on time um, because if the head cools down too much, you have to reheat the head again. Um, some people put their thumbs in here and push the eyes out. I can't do that. It, um, it really hurts my thumbs, I have small hands. So I use a wooden stick and I just try to find where the eyeball is in there and just kind of push it out from the inside. Oh, there goes one. That's why I call it eye popping. And the second one is always harder for me for some reason. There we go. Whoops. And now you got to get them back in. If it cools down too much, you'll have to, um, you'll have to reheat her head. Put the eyeball, I do it this way down with the eyelashes on top and just put it kind of sideways and then push my thumb in until it goes in. Don't worry if it's kind of sideways. I'm going to have to re-glue her wig. I didn't do that so good. And then on the other side, I make it look easy, but I'll tell you, my first doll I ever eye popped, oh, that was a nightmare. <laughs> we'll talk about that. Okay, right now she looks really not great, all right? Um, but that's okay, because her head is still warm, and we're going to get these eyes in order. This is a crochet hook that I broke, and it um, I broke it on accident and I it actually ended up being the perfect tool. You only want to push on the metal part of the eyeball right here. Because um, if you're pushing on the other parts of the eye, you can actually um, damage the eye. So we can see her eyes are not so great right now. So you just keep adjusting and pushing on the metal part of the eye until they get in a good position. But... There you go. Now I'm going to let this one dry because you don't want to put the doll back together with all this water in here. Um, it could cause mildew and all sorts of other issues. So I'm going to leave this one on the towel and I'm going to reset for doll number two. <laughs> So you can use um, a tool like this or any other kind of tool that 
you think might make this easier. Um, for years, I put the thread on with just using this and just kind of squishing it around um, the neckline. And it works, but it's very tedious. Um, so this is a drawstring threader. So this is my first time trying this tool out. Um, I'm not sure how well it will work because it has quite a um, thick part here. So I think I'm going to cut the tool down a bit so that I can actually get it around the dolls. So let's see what happens. We're going to figure this out together. Yeah, that's easier. All right. I'm going to put the string to here and cross my fingers. Let's see. I think going to put it back here so it's a bit secure. Let's try that. I'm going to pull it through and hope this works. Let's see. My old trusty tool here. I'm going to shove it in there. I bet they make a metal one of these that's easier. Aha! There we go. I mean, it's better than what I used to do but I think there's a better tool. So if you know a better tool to use for this, um, tell me in the comments below, that would be great. Okay. So then I usually, I wanna make sure that I'm going to have enough um, thread to tie and to be able to tuck it into their underwear. So I'm gonna cut it about there. And then she's ready to be reheaded. Ah, nice. My body is ready. Sorry, little uh, Reggie fils -a joke there. Don't expect everybody here to get that. Okay. <laughs> Time to check the heads. It's mostly dry. Um, I should probably let these heads sit out and dry a little longer so that I don't get mildew. Um, I'll put it on and then take it back off just so I can show you guys. There we go. Okay. Head is back on. Again, I like to twist it backwards so I can see what I'm doing. And then um, to knot it, I like to make sure I start with even-ish lengths. Oh, it's being so finicky. Close enough. Okay. And then I tie it once. Pull it as tight as I can. And then I usually do a square knot so I go the other way. Right over left, left over right. And then I tuck them into her underwear. I like to leave the strings a little extra long just in case I need to ever trim them for some reason in the future. They'll still be long enough. Okay. Now that the eye swapping is done, I can tell you about the first doll I ever eye swapped. So this is Marie. Um, she is a Mia doll with this really amazing soft red hair that I got from Beautifully Custom and with the Marie Grace eyes. I really wanted the Marie Grace eyes, so I bought them on eBay and I watched some videos of how to put eyes in and I made some dumb mistakes. It it was really bad. So poor um, Marie here. There we go. Um, she was my first patient and she was a trooper because she was in surgery for hours. Um, 
first trying to get the eyes out and then trying to get the eyes in. I was pushing on the eyes and pushing and pushing and pushing. My thumbs went numb. I got my family members to try and they were pushing and pushing and the the eyes were just not going in. Um, but being stubborn as I am, I didn't want to give up. Um, so I kept trying and I finally got the eyes in and my thumbs hurt for a week after that, by the way. And I'm a gamer, so, um, that was really bad, (laughs) but I used, um, like a nail tool as was instructed in the video that I watched, um, to move her eyes around. And unfortunately I scratched her eyes and I'm really sad about that because she's beautiful. Um, but she's got these scratches that were not there on the eyes before. And I wasn't going to pay money to buy a new set, um, to put new eyes in her. Um, and now, now it's kind of just part of her personality. I mean, it's scars from being the first, you know, and I learned that I needed a plastic tool and I tried tons of things. And the one that works best for me is a broken crochet hook. Um, the top is busted off can't really see that um and but it's plastic so it doesn't hurt the doll's eyes so I really recommend if you're doing this to not get metal around their eyes if you can help it um because they'll get all scratched up but she's still beautiful and I still love her and um if you're really struggling with an eye swap and it's your first time or your second or your third and you're just feeling like you're really bad at this you're never going to be able to do it it really, it really just takes practice. I've gotten pretty good at it now. Um, I used to have to reheat the head multiple times. I would get one eyeball out. It would take forever. And then by then the head would cool off and I'd have to warm up the head again and then get the other eyeball out. And sometimes that eyeball, because it had been heated for too long, would have a squished backing on it. And I kind of ruined the eye so I couldn't use that eye again, which was really depressing. Then I would have to reheat the head again to put the eye in and again to put the other eye in. It would be such a stressful process and I thought I was never going to get any good at it and it was just like a chore. But now it's it's a lot of fun actually. Um, doing it on video is a little strange but um, hopefully it helps some of you and um, I hope to see you back on my next video. Bye!